Hi everyone, today we are using Saracino modeling paste today and all we use is black and white. So roll out a ball and then roll it into a teardrop shape then use the palm to kind of thin out the neck and the back and then make sure the back is a bit like kind of a uh, kind of oval pointy towards the sur table surface then use the pointy dresden tool to mark out the back leg kind of like the fine area then round off all the edges Use the tool again, mark out some lines because this dog have a lot of kind of folds on the skin. So draw some random lines and then kind of like uh, squish them together. With the front leg and the back leg, the method is quite similar. Just roll out a um, sausage and then just use the tool to mark out some lines uh, for the toes and for some folds with the back leg because uh, the E is quite long so you don't see much except you will see the toes uh, area once it's done you can stick it underneath the body Once both back leg is done, put it on a polystyrene foam and then just use a cocktail stick and put it in as a structure. At this point, the neck um, might be a bit long, so you will see in the video later, I'm going to cut the neck a little bit shorter because um, it's okay with the neck that length, but I find when I put the head on, it looked cuter when the neck is shorter, so I decided to cut the neck shorter in later videos. So the front leg is the same, it's just a, a little bit longer than the back leg. And you want to cut the back kind of straight so that it can uh, stick to the front of the body, kind of flat-ish and just run off all the edges. Moving on to making the head, uh, it's kind of like the same amount of pace as the body. So roll out a ball and then use the kind of thumb to make it look like what's in the video now. I don't know how to describe that, but I guess it's a teardrop, but um, with the nose bit, uh, a little bit flatter. So don't worry about the shape because there is a lot of um, pressing and squishing the pace at the moment. So what you want to do, you want to concentrate the front where the nose area is have uh, quite a lot of pace there so that once you kind of narrow the area between the eye and the nose then you can flatten that bit um, to kind of uh, make the nose area and the mouth area more refined so just use the thumb and imprint the contour of the face there's no right or wrong um, how you do this, just make sure kind of like the nose area is kind of stick out like in the video now. And then use the thumb to kind of uh, dig in to the side of the nose, like in the video now.
And then once you are happy with that, kind of elongate the nose area a little bit, make it like an oval shape. Then use the Dresden tool to mark out the nose and the mouth area. And then once it's done, run off all the sharp edges. For the eye area, use the ball tool and then hook an indent and then use a pointy tool. I mean, if you don't have this tool, you could use a, a smaller ball on the ball tool to do this. Uh, and then what I'm doing is I'm just elongating the inner part of the circle like kind of like a pointing it up. Then after that, just use some black modeling paste, roll out an oval shape, and then stick it onto the face as the nose. For the eye area, uh, I'm doing it in stages. So first, use some black modeling paste. You don't want to fill it right to the top. You want to kind of half fill the circle in there. Then flatten it. And then use the ball tool again, the smaller ball tool. And then put some white modeling paste in. Same again, you don't want it like full to the top so you want it kind of level with the black paste then try to flatten it and widen it as much as possible then i have some black edible bubbles and then just stick it to the top corner of the eye i mean you could indent the hold first so that the bobo sit nicer in but I don't have that size ball tool so I just put the other bobo in as it is and do the other side so once done that then just put in some crease on top of the eye to make it like the fold on the forehead for the skin and then run off all the sharp edges. So this is the bit that I was mentioning earlier that um, the neck might be too tall. So I have cut it off. And when put the head in, you can put the head like level, but I like the head on the dog a little bit tilted. So I have put the head on a little bit tilted on the dog. With the ears, just uh, roughly cut out the shape which is in the video now. And when I cut it, I thought, oh, this is long enough. But then when I put it on, I was like, mm, it'll be cuter if the ear is a little bit longer. So once I have smoothed out all the edges, I slightly stretch the paste and then stick it onto the head.
once I stick the ear on, I kind of put a little bit more water where the joint is and smooth out the joints so that it doesn't look like there is a kind of sharp edge there. And then don't forget to add on the tail. It's just uh, roll out a thin sausage and then tuck it underneath the body. For the colouring now, um, I have lift up the dog and then put a piece of paper underneath so that I can catch all the loose dust. I am using a light, light pink edible dust to paint the inner ears first. So now I'm only using uh, a brown color at the bowl dust to dust all the ears, uh, the face, the back of the body. The, the only place I didn't dust properly is the front of the body and the pores. So I want them remain kind of white. Once all the dusting is done, use some black edible gel color and paint the line for the nose and the mouth. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel for new videos and updates and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!